chickens are just returning back to their pen for the day. This is uh, kind of the time when they will usually kind of go back into their, their run area. We'll close them up for the night. And uh, I had a really busy day today. It went really well. Uh, what did we do today? Well, a lot. Uh, we got our gravel delivery in the morning. So now there's a gravel floor in here. Uh, this is about three inches below where the actual level is going to be. We're going to have a concrete floor we're going to put in there. Uh, I was working on the, the uh, drain, the kind of plumbing for this place. Uh, just kind of drop you in over here. This is, uh, uh, I just kind of blocked it off for now, but this is going to be our uh, drain pipe that will go down in here and we'll have a drain over in the corner right there. And um, I just, uh, I should have done that earlier, but I didn't get around to it. This is what I did most of the day today, though, is uh, is this rock wall. You recall yesterday when I did the video, I think I was like part of the way up or so, but uh, I'm really pleased with it. I think it came out pretty well, and uh, I'm mostly proud of myself because this is the first time that I've used uh, big machinery to do a wall. Normally in the past, uh, you know, I would just do it with, uh, you know, levers and and shovels to kind of wedge things and you know I'd be lifting and rolling uh, rolling boulders but uh, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with it. We got some nice big rocks mixed in with small rocks. Uh, the big rocks kind of serve to kind of lock the small rocks in. Here's an example right over here. There's this small rock here. This is indicative of uh, a rock that I might have used if I was doing the whole thing just by uh, by hand because I can kind of move this rock around on my own. Uh, you know, it's a heavy rock, but, uh, you know, it still can be a little jiggly. So what we did is, you know, put a big rock on top, and that kind of locks things below. It's good to have big rocks on the bottom, uh, but it's also good to have big rocks on the top. Because, uh, you know, all these other rocks that, that might kind of rock around, if you, like, walk on the top of them, you kind of lock them in with uh, large stones. From the top, I'm feeling awfully good about it. Uh, I left a little gap over here. This stone here has got kind of a triangular shape. It's going to wedge right into that area. The reason I left that off is because I, I got to do the stucco work over here. And I'll explain why I haven't done the stucco work yet. Is uh, I've got one, one piece of sill plate left here. Uh, I cut it accidentally at 17 inches, forgetting that I needed the extra inch and a half to overhang uh, this piece right over here. I needed it 18 and a half inches, and I... I well, I cut it at 17. Uh, I, uh, I asked my dad if he might have any scrap kicking around his place. And he has a 20-inch piece of pressure treated that, uh, that will fit in there perfectly. But he's like an hour and 45 minutes away. So, you know, we're waiting until we, we see each other naturally for some other reason. And we're, he's going to give me his little piece and I'll put it in there. But I need that in there in order to finish out the foam and attach the foam to it and everything, and the stucco, uh, not the stucco, the lath for the stucco work is going to go up those sides, and uh, uh, where the stucco, uh, where the, or I'm sorry, where the metal mesh comes up, I'm going to use screws to connect it right into the uh, the wood there. So I, I want to have the wood there before I put the mesh on, and the mesh is there before I put the stucco on, and the stucco is there before I put in the last of the dirt and everything. Incidentally, when I do put this in, I'm not going to put it right up against uh, the uh, the concrete stucco work that I have over here. I'm going to get some, I'll probably put some wooden spacers in here and get the rock into place and then start shoving dirt in uh, into that gap and uh, once I feel like I've got about enough dirt in there I'll kind of pull the spacers out or if they won't come I'll just snap them and they'll, they'll rot later on. But you don't want to have these kind of big boulders uh, or any kind of rock right up against your your stucco work because you know there'll be like a little stone and it'll punch in and it'll crack. Uh, crack into it. So I'm really happy with this though. Uh, the day went really, really well and uh, I'm glad that this part of the project is coming to a conclusion because you can look at this area around. It has just been so destroyed and disturbed by uh, the uh, tractor coming in here that I really want to like, like just let this area start to heal up. But uh, it's going well and at some point we're going to actually start building the chicken coop. That's it. Thanks for watching.